Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today, K-Cider. Um, I haven't had this for about 30 years. Um, when it first came out, I remember it in little sort of 330 mil bottles. This is a whopping great big 500 mil can. It's an 8% by volume. Um, mm. On the back, it doesn't tell me a great deal about it. Um, They've got a little bit of, of marketing BS. It just says, uh, premium liquids with a superior quality have always been marked with a K. Have they? I don't know about that. Okay, uh, so when you want the ultimate in quality, look for this K with a nice little red K there. And that's it. There's not a great deal else in the... Uh, it says it's cider. It contains sulfates, which is the preservatives. Um, it's produced by CNC Brands uh, in Glasgow, I think. Um, and that's it. There is nothing on the back. I don't know the percentage of cider. I don't know the makeup, the apple variety. It's just fire. Um, mm, waffling now. Let's go for it. So, 8% by volume. And I'm thinking now... I'm just waiting to see what colour it's going to be. Well, yeah, I am as well. <laughs> Curious, because is it going to be Frosty Jacks alike? Or is it going to be better than that? So... The last cider that made me sit up and take notice was Knight's Cider, made by Aston Manor, uh, and it was slightly better than I thought. Oh, it's quite dark. <laughs> I'm thinking Iron Brew. Yes. Carry on that sort of Scottish theme there. So. Oh, a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I was expecting literally a white, a generic white, strong white cider. Okay, so we have Amber. Iron brew. Carbonation rising up there. Well, ciders, they normally, uh, you can get away with a biting carbonation with a cider because it adds to that refreshing uh, sort of feel on the nose. Well, it's quite sweet on the nose. There's a sherbetty. I was hoping for a nice little bit of sort of funk, but no, quite sweet. Let's dive in. Cheers. And I was expecting a mouthful of sugar, and I hadn't got it. What a really curious flavour. It's quite a bitter flavour. There are some tannings there, but it's not hanging around. It's not a big flavour. Um, the tannings are there and gone. So I do like uh, a, a cider with a nice sort of tanning, and you often get these sort of complex marmalade flavours going on there, even though it's apples, yes, I know. But those sort of deep flavours which really make it interesting and they are there for an instant and then gone. It's a quite a chemically smell. I was gonna say like acetone. Taste. What did I say? Smell. Yes. The smell the of my the mouth. The mouth smell, smell on my tongue. <laughs> I have done a couple of reviews today, so, you know. Um, mm. So, tastes like it's 8%? No, but it doesn't taste good. It <laughs> tastes cheap and nasty. Um, okay, so, very chemically tastes. Now an 8% cider can be really good. Um, Westerns have done a vintage which is up around that mark. Um, I think I did a Chaplin and Corks, and I'll put a link, um, which was around this sort of 8% mark, and absolutely banging. That, that deep tanning marmalade flavor. Um, so,
It has a chemical aroma. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Okay. Ah. Mm. Jesus, whiz, this is nasty. As, as bad as Aston Manor's? Well, I thought you'd have to go a long way. If you gave me the choice between this and a can of Frosty Jacks. I'd go for the Frosty Jacks. <laughs> that must be bad then. If this isn't good, I'm not liking this. I mean, I looked at the bottom of the can before I started so uh, December of this year is the date on this so it's well in days you're left with a nasty after feel <laughs> the design on the can is the only thing that I like the only redeeming thing only redeeming yeah. thing but it's, it's, a, you know, it's minimalism at it's best um, I do not like this at all again it's that There's an acetone there. So there's some complex esters going on there. Or is it just the chemicals they brewed it with? Let's be kind. So there's no information on the back about what they've used in it. So... Uh, this is nasty. I do not like. Me no likey. Okay. Uh, Case Cider, if you're interested, should be readily available. Um, I got this one at just a local uh, off-license um, it's the same off license I get my Polish beer from, and I wish I'd got a, another Polish beer. I really don't like this. Okay, if you're interested, I think I paid about two quid for this. Um, mm. If you've tried it and you liked it, um, drop in the comments below. I'd be really interested to get your feedback. Um, if there's anything else uh, from the sort of lower shelves that you'd like to see me try let me know because um, it's always curious uh, I started off um, by some of the super strength lagers I started off with those because I thought that they I was gonna have a laugh uh, because they would all be rank and some of the super strength lagers um, have actually been really good and they've certainly been better than this this is the sort of the no I've tried a few couple of the budget sort of strong ciders um, down the sort of the lower shelves um, and they've been better than this um, you know uh, of of the things from Scotland I've tried some of the Scottish beers the Innocent Gun I know that, you know Innocent Gun and the Tenants Lagers um, and McEwan's they've all been really good um, that lets Scotland down it does it's, to be fair I don't think Scotland is famed for its cider making um, I'm waffling now. I'm going to go. Cheers.